Page six, Juanita. Okay, this piece has one flat. It's in the key of F major. So all the Bs are going to be flatted. So it's going to have all B flats, unless they have natural signs, of course. Let's we'll start with the right hand. Right at the beginning, notice it's starting with fourth finger on the half note. And that's okay. Just pointing it out. In the second line, second measure, you're, you have a 2-1, but in the third measure you want to play that G with second finger. So it's just pointing it out, not changing nothing. In the third line, starts with the thumb, here. In the third measure, it's a, th a thumb on the G. Last line, the same, started with the thumb, right? That's it, pretty much. You can just follow the fingering they've got. Your hand will move around a little, but that's okay. In the left hand, you really got your primary chords going on. Except you're playing them as broken chords, that is, one note at a time. And again, when I do these, I'm just transferring the weight from finger to finger. I'm not trying to use the fingers to push these down. I'm just... I'm using my weight to pull it to push the note down and I'm just transferring the weight here and the the wrist will just naturally spin you don't have to do anything with it so I can exaggerate it for that just happens I don't make it happen it just does so just transfer the weight from the little finger to the third finger to the first finger and then back again The, hand, the fingers stay down on the keys. You have to be soft anyway because the melody's in the right hand. You want to bring out the melody. The phrasing, we like a little break between the phrases. So it's like the first line. And the phrasing is in the right hand, not the left. The left hand just keeps going. Keep the left hand nice and legato throughout the piece most, mostly. But here, at the, you know, at the beginning, the first line, it's... Between the second and third measure, I'm going to lift the right hand up a little bit so we get a little bit of silence. Only the right hand, not the left. And do that between each phrase. Lift the right hand up just a little fraction of a second early so it gets some silence. But keep the left hand legato. Keep it going. Second line, last measure, look at the left hand. You have two voices shown here. First one is the dotted half note F with the stem going down. That gets three counts. Then you have a half note, A, C with the stem going up. That's, a, that's the other voice. Voices, I guess. So for the last two beats of that measure, all three notes are down. All right, so you gotta hold the F down as you play these. Same thing in the last measure at the bottom. Okay. The bottom there is a DCL fine, which means back to the beginning and go to fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The fine is at the end of the second line because that's where the thin and thick bars are too. They're showing you that's the end of the piece. So that's how we're going to do it. We're going to play all four lines and then go back and play the first two lines again. For the dynamics, the dynamics apply to the melody. The left hand just stays soft throughout. Pretty much. And this piece is a nice gentle slow piece, not really slow, it's it's on Dante, which is kind of a think of yourself strolling down the street, just a nice easy walk. You're not walking as in marching or anything, it's just a nice lazy walk, and that's on Dante to me. You're starting out medium soft at the beginning. You decide what medium soft is, I don't know. It's all relative. First two lines are that way, and then when you get down to the third line, you're medium loud, which is just a little louder than medium soft, but then you got a crescendo. So now you're going to go up to loud until the last couple measures, and you come back to medium loud, and the last line is the same thing.
Let's try this out together. Three, four time, and give us three counts, and we will try it. There's no pedal in this, so here we go. Right hand, left hand, and, uh huh. And one, ready, go. Beginning. 